What's up guys, how are you all doing today? It is obviously Monday, everyone is back to work today, usually anyway, unless you're uh, working in retail or something over the weekend. But, yes, it is Monday and today is just absolutely chaotic. Uh, so this is going to be a fairly short vlog. But I wanted to give you a quick update on how I was getting on uh, with this. Uh, this is the GH4, the Panasonic GH4. And the lens that I got for it was the 12 to 35 millimeter. Um, so in total, altogether, I think I paid fifteen hundred pounds for the whole, the whole thing, lens and camera. Uh, I I bought the camera off of eBay, and it was brand new, sealed in the box for a thousand pounds because the guy got it for a present and he didn't want it. Um, so absolute bargain on the camera. And then the lens I ordered from um, Digital Rev, which obviously comes from um, Hong Kong. Um, so you get that cheaper. So I think that worked out about £500. So overall, that's a pretty powerful uh, camera for £1,500, I think, anyway. Uh, a lot of the functionality that it's got on to do with video is fantastic. Uh, it's got zebras, it's got uh, focus assist, it's got so many different things to do with video. And it's also got the flippy lens, which I love. Absolutely love that lens. I had it on my Nikon's um, right the way up to the D50, D7000, no, the D5100 had it, the D700, D7000 didn't have it, um, and the D800 didn't have it either, actually. What other camera did I have it on? Um, it was the Canon 7D, no, Canon 70D, which was the autofocus one. Um, that had the flippy uh, screen as well, and I love that flippy screen. Uh, even, well, just so many things it's useful for. But overall, yeah. The only thing I've been really disappointed with it with is the ISO, uh, the low light stuff is really quite poor uh, on this camera, both for video and photos. It's a bit of a disappointment in that respect. I was hoping to get sort of clean up to maybe 1600, maybe even slightly higher than that. Maybe I was asking for too much. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. But um, compared to the, obviously the 1DC, which will go right the way up to probably 6400 and be totally clean. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I've been disappointed really with this. That's literally the only thing. Uh, the micro HDMI eye port is a bit of a, a pain in the ass as well. Um, but other than that, pretty goddamn amazing that you can do 4K video uh, inside this. The bit rate is not great. It falls apart a little bit in post when you try and kind of pull it to pieces. But uh, if you want to use straight out of the camera and you want to get everything right in the camera, um, it, it's perfectly adequate, especially for YouTube, obviously, when they cut the bit rate right down anyway. So yeah, very, very impressed with that. And I've got the GoPro Hero 3. And obviously the 3 Plus is the latest one. And I want to ask you guys a question. Is it worth the upgrade? Uh, let me know, please, in the comments, whether it's worth going from the 3 to the 3 Plus. So far, I've, I've thought not. But people recently have been saying to me, oh, the 3 Plus is definitely a lot better. You'll know it's a difference. So please do uh, let me know um, what you guys think about the, the 3 to the 3 Plus. I'd be definitely interested in hearing uh, your thoughts. But putting this in the car and then using the iDrive to control it, I love that. And I'm going to bring you guys a little bit of footage on that fairly soon. So um, look forward to that one. But sorry, guys, that is going to be it for me today. I know it's a quick one, but I am... Uh, literally overrun uh, today. Oh, I'll tell you one more thing I wanted to say to you guys. Um, and I know this is a little bit boring, but I use rechargeable batteries for everything. And some of my fishing lights, for example, and some other things take these Type D batteries. These are the huge, great big ones. And I found these on Amazon, and these are 10,000 uh, milliamp hour batteries. 10,000 milliamp hour. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, nickel metal halide. So um, if, if you have any kind of use for the high powered batteries, they are beginning to come about and they do do them in different sizes as well. These ones are made by Ansman. 10,000 milliamp hour in that. That's incredible. Let's hope the new iPhone uh, has a huge battery that is only very small. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. Have yourselves a great one. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.